Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your first look forecast for this February 24th. Another chilly start to the day. Temperatures in the teens as we start out this morning. Watch out for some icy spots once again. We had a little bit of melting take place yesterday. Looks like we could get a little bit more today. There's the live view from exit 22, I-65 and Scottsville Road. Mainly clear this morning again, though some of the side streets and back roads are a bit icy after a little bit of melting yesterday and a refreezing overnight. And some low water crossings are still flooded from all the heavy rain that we received on Saturday, so be aware of that. Currently, temperatures around the uh, reporting airports this morning, 20 at the Bowling Green Airport as of 420 this morning. It's 16 in Paducah. It's 9 in Mount Vernon. It is 6 in Lexington this morning. As we check current temperatures, courtesy of the Kentucky Mesonet Network, closer to home, we see uh, 19 currently here in Bowling Green, 15 up in Litchfield, Munfordville. There's a 13 Campbellsville, 12 in Hodgenville right now. That appears to be the coldest temperature thus far this morning, but we're going to see a nice little warm-up today, which will be nice. Now, once you look at Doppler Max HD, don't be afraid. This is... Uh, <laughs> This is not reaching the ground. All this is light snow, and you, would, you look at this and you think, well, it's snowing all over the place, but it's not. This is what we call Virga. This is snow that's above us, but it's evaporating before it reaches ground because we actually have high pressure sitting right on top of us, and that is keeping us mainly dry. So there is moisture in the upper levels, but by the time it reaches down to the ground, it's too dry for it to, to reach the ground so it evaporates. That's what we've got going on this morning. Here is a better kind of a radar as far as a true reflection of what is reaching the ground. Now over toward the Cumberland Plateau there may be a few light snow flurries you see there but a lot of that is not significant in some of the higher elevations and then as you head down say toward Knoxville, Bristol, Tennessee they are getting some light snow this morning but none of that is going to affect us. Current temperatures right now at the Bowling Green Airport, 20 degrees, 23 Nashville. Look at that minus 2 up in Indianapolis at this hour. Cincinnati, 6 below 0 with that snowpack on the ground. Average high, 52. Well, we're trying. We're getting there. 36 today, 40 Wednesday. Another shot of Arctic air by Thursday, as we've talked about. And then uh, back into the upper 20s Friday. And then... Some moderation by Saturday. Here's a look at the five-day low temperatures. Nothing below zero, but there's that nine expected Thursday night into early Friday. And yes, now there is a little bit of uh, snow in the forecast. Here's Future Max Snow Predictor. We are looking at the possibility uh, as we get into late Wednesday night into early Thursday. A little southern tracking system, kind of like the one that's south of us today, is going to make kind of a uh, left turn here and start to go up into central and eastern Kentucky. And as it's uh, putting out here 1.2, that's in question. I mean, this, this track and this forecast could change, but it is possible late Wednesday night into early Thursday we could get a light dusting up to an inch of snow a little bit more further east along the Cumberland Plateau. But... That's what uh, Snow Predictor is calling for right now. And that should be fairly low impact as far as how it's all going to pan out. Let's look at Future Max Predictor. There's that little bit of light snow this morning uh, that is off to the east and southeast of us that's going to move away. So today for us, mostly sunny, mainly clear for us tonight, partly cloudy at times, then increasing clouds tomorrow. And here's that second system. And as you see on the timeline, Wednesday at 8 o'clock, there's that southern tracking system that could produce a little bit of light snow here and that you see the darker blues indicating maybe a little bit of higher uh, accumulation there maybe an inch or two further south and east toward the Lake Cumberland area and along some of the higher elevations in the Cumberland Plateau then that quickly moves away by Thursday morning there's some light snow uh, north of us but I don't think that's really going to have an effect on us as we get on into Thursday into Friday and then the warm-up begins for the weekend you can see an updated seven-day forecast really looking good as we get into say Sunday and Monday the first couple of days of March it's gonna feel uh, a little bit better closer to average which is 52 degrees 
for this time of the year. So right now, don't panic too much about what we're seeing on Thursday morning, but there could be a low impact situation where we have uh, maybe a light dusting up to an inch of snow. That forecast and track could change, so uh, stay connected to us and we'll keep you up to date on that. In the meantime, have a great Tuesday. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky and streaming live to the WBKO app and to WBKO.com. Have a good day.